What's up everybody? Hello and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this one we are going to look at this twisting uh, effect as you can see while you move on the x-axis uh, it kind of adjusts to what it should be. Uh, you get the idea. And before starting I want to say thank you very much to everyone who supported me by buying my assets. Uh, links are in the description. Uh, it's the only way that I support my channel. With that being said, let's just jump into it. And this one is going to be hopefully a quick tutorial. I have materials, these, that are applied to the different um, colors that you see here. And they all use the same shader graph. So let's jump into the shader graph. And these things are all just for uh, your albedo, just a normal texture, uh, normal texture, metallic smoothness and occlusion, nothing very special. Uh, and this is our stuff, right? So what I am using is the distance between the position of the camera and the position of the geometry. And I'm only using the X axis. You can use the Y if you if the, the movement is going to happen on the Y axis, or you can use something, I don't know, like combine two or something like that if it is diagonal or whatever it is. All right, so we found the distance between X of the camera and X of the geometry, which is this guy. And then we multiply it by a parameter which will define how much twisting we want. And then we use that as the rotation of a rotate about axis node. Uh, and this node, you give it uh, an axis and you give it whatever you want to rotate about this axis and uh, what's the, the angle. And I, I put it to decrease. In this case, it, it doesn't, I don't think it matters a lot, but whatever. Right, and the input is uh, the position, adding to it just a vector 3 um, for an offset, because we are dealing with the world uh, coordinates, so you have to put offset if you want to move the, pl the position of your uh, object. And you can see ho here also after I, oops, after rotation, uh, I subtract that offset. So you move your geometry to the correct place. You rotate it about the axis and then you put it back to where it was. And then you just transform that from world to object and you connect it to the position. That's about it. So you can see uh, if we select all the materials you can change the multiplier to have less or much more twisting. And you can change uh, the offset is like, for example, if you, um, where is my object? This is my object. If you want your object to be placed at, let's say, Y, this, this place, obviously this is gonna uh, also make this, uh, weird thing that you might love I don't know but if you don't love um, you can just copy this guy to the offset uh, probably minus yeah and you can see it's back to normal uh, you can obviously play with all of these parameters and uh, as I mentioned you can uh, move your object to uh, have different effects like a spiral and I don't know something like this maybe if you are into this but yeah that's about it uh, thanks so much for watching consider to subscribe uh, a lot of people watch my tutorials and don't subscribe I'm not sure why please do so and ring that bell so that you know about the uh, coming tutorials. So thank you so much and have a nice one.